Hi, I want to thank my subscriber for leaving this link below the last video that I posted on the New York Times, the antidepressants, they being addictive. Link between antidepressant use and type 2 diabetes in youth uncovered. Uncovered. Uh, that link has really been known prior to 2017, but I'm just putting it out there. I, you know, it really upsets me to see all of these children on these medications. And then they coming down with an awful lot of other medical issues related to the psychiatric medications that their parents have put them on. And I don't like children. I don't like children being destroyed. I... I, it upsets me greatly. Okay, so a link between antidepressant use and type 2 diabetes and diabetes is on the rise in American children and experts don't know why. They don't know why. Hmm. I guess I guess they didn't see this or maybe they just never did any research whatsoever. <sighs> yes. So, what what's the rise? It's it's quite an astounding increase, actually. It's type two diabetes associated with obesity, obesity, and the increase five percent each year from two thousand and two to twenty twelve. Type one increased 2%. And the link between antidepressants and type 2 diabetes, type 2 diabetes is linked to obesity. Antidepressants are linked to obesity. We are so destroying, so destroying children here. I don't. All right. Well, 13 drugs. That can make you fat. And I'll link below. Uh, we've got Paxil, Paxil, which is not just an SSRI. It's not just a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Paxil, Effexor, are SSRNIs. So the reuptake in serotonin as well as norepinephrine. That's why those two are very dangerous. Depakote. Depakote is used to treat bipolar and seizures. Prozac. Prozac. Oh, they're so happy now. And they're eating. Yep. Okay. Remeron. Um, it's an antidepressant that enhances serotonin and norepinephrine. Nephrin. Okay, Remeron, you can put that with Effexor and Paxil. No doubt Remeron is quite dangerous as well. You need to do uh, research yourself if you're on these medications or if you're thinking about taking these medications. But parents, you have an obligation to do research for anything that you are giving your children. Zyprexa is an atypical antipsychotic um, and can pile on the pounds. Delta zone, it's a prednisone, Thorazine, Elevil, Endip, Vanitrip. These are tricyclic antidepressants. Allegra, an antihistamine. What? The antihistamine activity in psychiatric drugs? There's an antihistamine activity in psychiatric drugs? Okay. I didn't know that. And a, a type 2 diabetes drug causes weight gain, which is, you know, these two, insulin also. Um, I couldn't come up with one site that lists all of them. 
So, Selexa, Prozac, Luvox, Remeron, Paxil, Soloft. These are the six psychiatric medications that cause weight gain, and many children are on these. Um, drugs for diabetes, antipsychotic drugs, antidepressants, drugs for epilepsy, steroid hormone drugs, blood pressure reducing drugs, beta blockers, beta blockers cause weight gain, and Clozaril, Zyprexa, Remeron, Seroquel, Depakote, Paxil. You see, every article has uh, some additional medication. Um, so what's important is that everybody needs to do their research on the particular medications that they are taking. So, Antipsychotic medication prescribing trends in children and adolescents. Interesting. Antipsychotics cause obesity. And there's a link between antidepressants. And you could probably bet if you did some research, you could come up with antipsychotics also. But, all right, well, if it's just antidepressants, causing type 2 diabetes and you have a lot of children on antidepressants but type 2 diabetes is associated with obesity and you're giving antipsychotics to children and antipsychotics cause obesity Food and Drug Administration has approved the use of antipsychotic medications in some children and adolescents. However, recent national data show a dramatic rise in off-label and Food and Drug Administration approved uses of these medications. Of particular note is a two-fold to five-fold increase in the use of antipsychotic medications in preschool children. Yeah, preschool children, antipsychotic on the rise. And there's little information on their long-term effects. Recent reports of antipsychotic medication use in pediatric populations describe large increases in rate of use. What are parents doing? Drug-induced weight gain is a serious side effect of many commonly used drugs. So. There you have it. Links are below. Yes, I'm sorry. What the hell has happened here? What the hell has happened that adults in this country don't seem to care much about children? If they did, there wouldn't be there wouldn't be so many on psychiatric medications. There wouldn't be so many obese. There wouldn't be so many with so many medical problems that we didn't see years ago.